Hello everybody, today I am sharing with you how I bookstagram. So if you don't know, bookstagram is just literally that. Because of books on Instagram, it's kind of dubbed as bookstagram and I'm a bookstagrammer. And let me just preface this by saying I am not a professional bookstagrammer at all. There are so many talented bookstagrammers, whether they be simplistic in style or really, really or have a lot of props or put a lot of time and things into them. I am not one of the pros. I am very much a simplistic bookstagrammer. I'm not that great at it, but I thought I would share with you what I do for bookstagram because a lot of people ask me how they get started, what do they do, settings, tips, how they lay out photos, and all those different things. So you know, I'm going to show you how I take five photos. I'm going to show you how I edit those five photos, and I'm going to upload one of those five photos on Instagram. So I'm going to show you that all in this one video, hence why it is so very long. But again, like I said, I'm not that great with bookstagram. If you look at my account, you're not going to be wow or pizzazz. It's really kind of mundane, if I could say. Like, I'm not like overly proud of it but I do love my little bookstagram I enjoy taking photos of them if you are interested in becoming a bookstagrammer and really are struggling with the thought of spending a lot of money and kind of want to go the cheap route I came to the right video because I am full of the cheap <laughs> <laughs> but either way, um, I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoy and get something from this. If you're interested, I will leave some of my favorite bookstagrammers down below. A lot of them, and I'm gonna leave a vast majority. A lot of them are simplistic, where they just take really beautiful photos of just a book and maybe one or two things. There are a lot of bookstagrammers that have a lot of different props and spend a lot of time setting up the shot. I will link all of my favorites down below. There is a lot. I always love looking at different bookstagram accounts. And if you have any favorites, please leave them down below. This video with a grain of salt you know I'm not a pro I'm not a professional I'm just sharing you I'm just sharing with you what I do and what I know if that works for you great if it doesn't I apologize but here we go it's a long video so get ready for it hello everyone and welcome to my couch so this is where I take 99.9% .9 of my bookstagram photos so this is my couch beneath it this blanket from Target that I got last year and if you're wondering if I use it just for bookstagram no I actually use this as a blanket because the first thing I'm gonna show you is props a ton of props that I use um, I wouldn't say I'm an overachiever with props I use maybe one maybe two maybe at the most five sometimes no props at all I just have a lot of them and a lot of them I use for other things in my house so they're not strictly props so First thing I'm gonna talk about are seasonal props. So in the fall season. So I have a lot of fall things. For example, I have like this little foliage thing my mom gave me. I've also put it with twinkle lights in it. That's a really good fall prop. It's just leaves in general. You can buy them at the dollar store. You can buy them at Michael's. You can use them wherever. I also have a wide array of pumpkins. So these are two new pumpkins I got this year. They're from the Targets. The, they are from the dollar section at Target. I have a white one. I have a um, greenish one. I also have this one I got from Target last year, which was like $2. Um, I have a lot of other pumpkins as well. I have this thing right here which I just got from Target this year. They came in a two pack and they were $3 for both of them. And it's supposed to be an appetizer plate, but I thought I could, you know, put a pumpkin on it. I could put a mug on it, whatever. And I do use this for decor at my house. So actually, if you're trying to go for the simplistic thing with Bookstagram, is use things that you're decorating with that you can just incorporate in your photos and then put it back for decor. You know, it doesn't have to be in a box just for Bookstagram. That is my big thing. So a great um, item for Bookstagram are scarves. I have this one is probably my favorite one for the fall and winter months. It's just a really big chunky one I got from Target because that is where I live apparently for like five bucks last year. It's a huge one. It could also be used as a whole freaking blanket if you wanted to. Um, I also have a whole bunch of other scarves but they're still in my like fall clothing um, things upstairs. This one's kind of like a constellation one. This one I use primarily for like spring but either way there it is. I have this thing. So this is strictly for bookstagram photos pretty much. It's some things I've purchased, some things I've gotten for free and I'm just reusing for bookstagram but I'm just going to quickly show you what is inside of this. I categorized or organized because I'm an organization junkie. Let's take a example. This is moss. This is a whole bunch of like grass stuff. It's got like green rocks in it. It's got some twig things. I saved this. I got this in a PR package and you best believe to save it because your girl cheap. <laughs> Um, but I saved it because it would be good for like woodsy type of books and I have used it already so that's great. Another PR package I got are like these fake diamonds or like I don't know. They're just really cool and I thought I'd save them for like maybe decor for parties and bookstagram photos. I mean why not? They send you the things, use them. 
Um, then I have some, oh, here's another candle, another one of my favorite ones. I don't like it because it's called Burning Books. I like it because it's just white and it's very crisp and clean. I have kind of a whole bunch of array of things. All of this stuff in here is pretty much bought, so I'll show you. This is kind of like my antique-ish one. Here I have a pocket watch. I think I actually did get that one. Some keys. You can never go on with keys. I have like a magnifying glass. It's actually my stepdad's, but don't tell him. Um, I have some lace. I don't know. I like to drape it around books sometimes. I have an old pearl necklace sometimes for photos. This is a pocket watch that I did buy. My husband bought it, and I use it for photos sometimes. I just think it looks really cool. There it is. And then I have some... I have some other like keys, antique keys are just great. Then I have some like coins. These are like kind of sun, I don't know what they are, random just coins. So that's where I keep a lot of my like antique-ish looking stuff, I guess you could say. Got these in an Outcrate box. They're Ouija, I thought I'd keep them for spooky books. I have another like compass thing I got in a PR package that I use. It's very cheap, but it photographs well, so I'll take it. Another really big prop in Bookstagram, I'd say, are mugs. You can never have enough mugs these are some of my favorite ones for right now it's going into fall season so i loved incorporating this copper one i have a whole freaking cabinet full of mugs you can leave these empty if you want to do a shot of a book standing up you can put coffee in them if you want to do a shot of looking down either way mugs are never a bad option okay. now here's what you came for i'm sorry that was a long intro under props the first book photo i'm taking is actually of two dark rains by kendara blake this is the third book in a series so let's get my settings right so right next to of a thousand i know it gets dark over here in the corner of my house and i'm fine with bumping up my iso shutter speed is at 30 and my aperture is set at 4.0 i think for what i'm going to do for this i'll zoom you in when i get the shot set up because you know i'm going to have the for hmm how do i want to do this I think I'm gonna have the first two books right here and then I'm gonna kind of encompass this one right here. And what you can see obviously is it's not holding up very well, which is why you have lots of random things. I stick that behind it and it holds up well. And here we have it. This is the shot that I'm going to take. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and take this photo. I am, like I told you all my settings before, I did bump up the ISO to 1600 because it was a little bit, it was a little bit too dark for me. A whole bunch of Fall Reads books that I want to incorporate in one photo. This is not how they're gonna be photographed doing this for the sake of the video. It's gonna do a straight up stack. We're gonna start with some tall books. I might put in some smaller books, you know, just to shake things up. And I know my couch is probably not the best way to do this because it's not even, but it's the only place I can get like the white background in it, if that makes any sense. I'll use things on the side to kind of like prop them up. So that's what I usually do. There we go, I think it looks kind of nice. Something like that. And you know, like I said, it's fall, so we need some pumpkins because pumpkins are fallish. You know, just simple. Like, I'm the most boring bookstagrammer you're going to find around here, guys. I'm going to be straight up with you on that. I'm actually going to take you off the tripod because this is not, like, the even shot I want. Oh, my gosh. I know. You're like, this is sickening. There's my shot. I switched things up a little bit. This, I'm sorry, the light, I was not planning for it to get cloudy or stormy because our hurricane's two days away, not today. But either way, that's my second shot. There you have it. Let's go on to the third. Next three shots I'm going to take are flat lay. So the first one I think I'm going to take is going to be Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik, which is actually the book I'm just starting today. So I'm just starting this book today, and I think I'm going to use some coins in it because guess what's on the cover, guys? Coins. You know, we're original here. We do original things. So here I have a myriad of coins. So for this one, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So forgive me if I go out of frame a little bit as I am framing this shot. I think I'm going to have it kind of at an angle. I think that's really cool looking. Um, sorry, I'm having to bump my ISO to ridiculously high. This is, I do never ever shoot in 4,000 ISO, but for this I will. Um, so I have some cool looking coins. So I might just kind of scatter them throughout, like having different ones, I don't know, different colors. Could also incorporate a scarf into it, but I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of like that, I kind of like that. I think I can do that. Seeing the shot look kind of like this. Everything's in focus, so let's go ahead and take our photo. Not my favorite setup, 
I just don't know if I love these places, the coins. I think I might take a couple out real quick just to take like one last photo with it of the coins. Not professional at all, guys. So please take this video with a grain of salt, literally. The next photo I'm gonna take is actually some book mail I just got today in the mail, and that is the matchmakers list. This one, I'm gonna keep it simplistic because that's what my life is. I like it like that. So this one, it's got some nice blue in it. I thought, boom, look at that. Kind of have that. And then this one, the sun's coming out again, guys. Yay. So for this one, I'm going to tuck kind of the book cover. I'm going to have the leaf kind of like go into it. And then I think that's going to be the shot. Yeah, I like that. And that's how easy that is. I'm going to kind of get rid of these lines real quick because I just don't want them in the photo. They're kind of a pain. Maybe I can move this up a little bit and we'll have to deal with them. Kind of curve it like that. Just, I mean, it's just fall. Why not? This is just a nice classic, I think, bookstagram photo. Very clean looking, very nice lines. Let's take the photo. The last photo I'll be taking today is another piece of book mail. I just got in the mail, which I wasn't expecting, and that is, and the ocean was our sky by Patrick Mess. Wasn't expecting this. This is a not a graphic novel, but it does have pretty pictures in it. So my thought for this would be for this photo in particular that I would take the cover off and then open it up to a favorite graphic and then feature the graphic, if that makes any sense. So let's do just that. So sometimes I like to find a book that's comparable to size. Holy crap, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, kind of just want to keep it like that, honestly. But this one, I think I could just hold it like that. Maybe put something in between it to hold it up so it doesn't look like it's just a, boom, it's just a book jacket. So this one, I think, like I said, I'm gonna find a really nice graphic in it and then go from there. Oh, there we have it. That's beautiful right there. So what I'm going to do is just kind of over, overlap them. I'm gonna bring in this scarf. You're gonna get sick of this scarf for sure in my book scram, but I really like it. And I think I'm gonna tuck it underneath here. This is cold coffee we have right here. And you have to be very careful when you have it by books because things can happen, bad things. So there's our shot and I actually really enjoy it. Like I think it's really nice. Like you get to see the cover, you get to see a little bit inside the book and you get, you know, nice coffee while you're at it because who doesn't love coffee? So let's just make sure everything's focused up and take the everyone so here we are at my desktop so there you have it so I've already imported the photos and I uploaded them to or pulled them into Photoshop so here we have all the photos I have on Photoshop everyone on bookstagram uses different things some people just use um, different apps to edit photos some people just use Instagram to edit photos I'm a Photoshop person I use Photoshop for all my photos so this is just what I do. So if you can see right over here, I have a whole list of actions. I'm a big fan of actions because number one, they're easy. Number two, they cut down on a lot of time for editing. I photograph weddings a lot, so actions are my saving grace. So as you can see, I have this one called Usual. Usual, I have compiled all these actions myself, by the way. Press Usual, this is what happens. So I press play and you will see what it does. So in Usual, it has I know you can see it going all through there. So that is what it looks like. So after all of this, that's before, it just punches up the image, it does the levels, and it has this um, actually action I've got from this um, site years and years ago I just love. And that is what it looks like. So I know it's not a world of difference, but to me it is. It just makes things sharper and clearer. So that is what I go from there. So I use that all the time. So now, usually with my photos, it's a lot of warmth, as you can see, a lot of warm light because that's what's in my house. So I like to cool them down. That's my favorite thing. So I have this cool down one where it just really adjusts the colors and cools them down as you can see a huge difference really warm to really cool sometimes I'll even do it more now sometimes I like to throw the lights on this just adjust the lights and then I just kind of adapt it from there to the opacity shop is whatever you want it to be if you wanted to be an extreme Photoshop person you can if you want to do a little bit so you can just see the differences see how dark that was I like a little bit of brighter photos and I might cool it down even more honestly because it's a little bit too warm for me still though that's too cool so kind of just like that, I think, would be nice, yes. And pretty much that's what I do. I know it's not really, there's some little things right here. I'll use the clone stamp tool to get them out really quickly because there we go. You know, just stuff like that. Like, is there any other 
things right there I don't love, like that right there is kind of messy. And that's all I do. And then I just have uh, action that's just sharpened. I have a set sharpen like levels I like to do. And I sharpen it and then I go ahead and I save it. Simple as that. Um, and then I'll show you what I do after that. So I'm gonna go through all of these photos. So here we are at the next one. This one's pretty easy to, to edit, honestly. I'm just gonna go through my usual and that takes a little bit of time da, 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 da. so as you can see it's not like a huge difference but it's a noticeable difference like see how like not punchy those are i guess would be the word to describe it or what i use or just sharpen this sharpens it more i'm gonna go ahead and cool it down just a touch that's perfect right there like, as far as cropping i know i do not crop because like Instagram, I just crop an Instagram and there you go. As you can tell, I am not like the most beautiful bookstagrammer. I am definitely not. Um, so that's how fast it takes me to do my photos. It doesn't take me really any time at all. This one is very dark as you can tell. Like the, remember the last two, they weren't as dark because the sun was out and the sun is your friend when it's for photos. Except for if you're outside, like stay in the shade. Um, but inside you want the sun and the sun was down or like it was away and so that is why this one is so dark so we're gonna have to manipulate it some I'm not manipulate it tweak it I shall say <laughs> cool it down as well because it is quite warm and the cut on the cover is kind of cool as well like it looks cool but it's also like cool I don't know what I'm trying to say here and there you have it that is all I'm gonna do for this photo I think it looks nice I think the colors are decent I'm gonna sharpen it up and call it quits as you can tell yeah, not a lot to do it for Bookstagram, at least for me. Oh, we're going to get to the usual. This one's also when the sun was down, so that's where there's no light at all pretty much. So we're going to punch it up. That's a little bit too bright for me. Um, and I'm going to cool it down once more because I don't feel like the covers are really... There we go. And I think that's it. Like, look at that. Looks like some stock photo. Not really. I am not that great of a photographer. Definitely enough, my least favorite photo is the last one, is the first one I took. I don't know. There's just not much to it. So I'm trying to decide between these three. The, the angles are all horrible, by the way. It's because I had it on the tripod and it wasn't the right angle. So I'm going to have to crop it as well. Like, I mean, like rotate it by the but Rotate is what I mean. So I think this one has the couch in it. So I'm going to have to rotate that out. So I think I'm going to stick with this one. So first up, I'm going to crop it because it's got a couch in it. We don't want that. I know I said I don't crop. I'm going to do my usual um, edits to it. This one, I kind of wish I put something here, but... I think the beauty of this is the cover is just so stunning on its own. So that's where I'm like, it's okay if it's not like that, like embellished as far as stuff on it. And see if you put too much color in it, it just kind of drowns out the cover a little bit. And this one needs, I might do a soft punch on this too. Perfect, that's another app I have, just adds a little bit more punch. I think I'm going to, um, Crop or rotate this once more. It's not looking 100% even. I'm sure there's like a little ruler that what, what you can use, but I just do it by eye. There we go. I think I'm good with that. So there's the image for that. And so, boom. So there is all the photos I have edited. So now I'm just going to put those photos I just edited on my phone and I will be right back. Okay, so here we are on my phone. I've never done this before, so bear with me. So. I'm going to take you to my bookstagram photos or where I store them. So I have my photo app right here and I have a folder called Books, Bulls, Instagram. And see, I have a plethora because my thing is, is when I take bookstagram photos, I usually just don't take one like I showed you, but I take five or six and go ahead and upload them and have them in my phone. So the ones that I took today, if you want to see, there's this one, this one, this one, this one and this one so we today are going to upload this one because i just finished the book so i can talk about it plus i just want to share the cover and i'm going to show you how i go about putting it up on instagram so the first thing i do is i have the photo on my phone obviously then i go to the notes app so the notes app is where i store all of my um instagram captions that's just what i do as you can see i have a whole bunch here i like to keep all of them together I just it's just easy for me I like being organized so as you can tell there's a ton so I'm going to I have one that's just for all my hashtags so I'm gonna go ahead and select all and copy that and then I'm gonna go ahead and start a new note was no. two dark crowns was an amazing read I'm gonna try to keep this one short and sweet um,
And that's all I'm gonna say for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press return, and then I'm going to paste. Of course, that just took that away because that's what happens. And then these are my um, kind of same hashtags I keep that I added on every time. So obviously I'm gonna go ahead and put, oh my gosh, hopefully you can hear that thunder. That's nice. Two dark rains. I'm gonna go ahead and put three dark crowns. Um, and then I put one dark throne. I'm a fan of the more hashtags, the better. I just like it that much and recently read and there you have it and i'm also going to add in the author at the end so i'm going to go ahead and select all copy and that is usually i won't do it that often i won't do it that fast when i write a note i'll keep it in here until i'm ready to upload it oh, to instagram and here we are at instagram <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and upload. I've never done this on camera before, but let's do it. So I'm going to go to the bookstagram Instagram and then see, I just kind of tweak it from there. And then I do add a filter. I know, I know a lot of people don't, but I like to add the first one, Claire. I don't know what it's called, but I don't add a ton of it. I just like it because it adds a little bit of a punch and I'm all about that. So as you can see, that's full effect. I kind of just add a little bit and then I also go to the edit and I kind of, if I don't think it's bright enough, I'll adjust the saturation. I'll do stuff like that so I'm not gonna tweak the saturation too much sometimes if I don't think it's sharp enough I will go to the sharpen and that's all I do like I know I'm boring I you can do a vignette if you want to go for it I just like the crisp clean lines I go ahead and paste our caption and then we're going to go ahead go ahead and add the author so the author is Kendara Blake so we'll do that and then also the publisher is Harper Teen so I think that's epic reads for them um is that epic reads I'm pretty sure <laughs> um and there we go. We're also gonna tag them in here as well. So boom, and then boom. And there it is. We have all of our many things. So there you have it. Seeing this post now, like you probably saw this post a week ago, comment on this photo again and be like, I'm watching this when I'm watching your bookstagram video. Does that make any sense there at all? you have it. That is how I bookstagram. I hope you enjoyed it. And I know it was lengthy, I apologize. But I hope you learned some. I hope you got something out of this. If you didn't, again, I apologize. But either way, I had a really fun time making this. I loved how it was different segmented. I hope it was informative enough. And I hope, and I hope it helped you with deciding if you wanna do it, what to use, what settings, and things like that, and how I edit. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in this video. I would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one.